Uh, what this center provides is more of a, a command and control and accountability of units of uh, assistance needed, assistance provided, what units are providing those, uh, even down to what soldiers are providing those. The overview. Uh, the fatalities are now stand at 18. That number has gone up uh, throughout the day as um, we continue to do uh, search and rescue operations, which will continue uh, as long as daylight allows. Power outages were under 21,000. KU has gone under 1,800, and they're, uh, they've uh, also sent uh, teams over to assist. AEP power in Western Kentucky or in Eastern Kentucky. Immediate issues of concern are the search and rescue continues. Uh, we're preparing for damage assessments in those areas where we can, uh, trying to get uh, good information out of the uh, counties and the regional managers there. Uh, we expect our requests for assistance to increase as they have all day for uh, as uh, we start uh, moving the debris out of the way and discovering those things that are truly broken we need assistance on. Restoring communications continues to be a major issue. We've got uh, mobile command posts out at every location now, and we can at least get communications that way with our uh, emergency workers. Status that are prepared for mission. Bob, be prepared for a mission in Pendleton County. And then security. Good afternoon, sir. Slide, please. Sir, we appreciate the photograph that you provided to us. A nice aerial view. Like next slide looks yeah. scarier than it really yeah. presents. Yeah. Slide, please. The one depicted there. Next slide, please. Yesterday, um, sitting here throughout the whole thing, we did pretty well. There's a couple of things we could have done a little bit better, uh, but looking at what happened, we got hit with three different ways, and we almost got hit with a fourth one late, late last night. Um, and for the amount of devastation that's out there, we did pretty good. Uh, but there's going to be a lot of people needing us to help them pick up pieces real soon, okay? Guard is, is crucial to what we do because so much of FEMA's involvement revolves around our assessment of the damages and we have actual teams of guards people who go out and help us perform damage assessments and we have to give um, very detailed information to FEMA before they will come into the state and determine whether or not uh, assistance is, is going to be forthcoming. Well, if in this particular disaster, you know, the, it's it's a, a very young disaster, and most of the activities of the guard have been centered around protect, protecting people and property. Uh, it will be probably another 24 hours before we start doing hardcore assessments and putting dollars to the disaster damages. You know. It, from my standpoint, it's crucial because my job is to ensure that we maximize the amount of federal money that comes into the Commonwealth. But I would dare say that from a citizen standpoint, uh, there's a lot of assurance associated with the fact that they see people out there protecting them and, and their whatever belongings they have left. I think that um, the process is much more collaborative than it used to be. And I think that's, that's really good for both the Guard and for the non-military staff that, that support this agency. Uh, I think it produces a great team. We can't produce our best without each other. Uh, that came in this morning before I got here. I don't know where that came from.